This video is sponsored by iFixit. Normally on this channel, you'll find me fixing all kinds of broken items, but sometimes I just wanna build something. So today, I'm gonna be building my very first DIY laptop from a company called Framework. And for the most exciting part, we have the power adapter, USB-C, I love that. Got a pretty tiny power brick, I like it. And here is the case itself. Got a little bit of a instruction manual, quick start guide sort of thing. Shouldn't need that. They also include a screwdriver and pry tool. Now normally, especially when I'm working on something new, I always count on my iFixit toolkits because they have pretty much everything I need and they're very high quality tools. I'm gonna keep my iFixit toolkit right on my workbench in case I need it, but it is cool that Framework does include the tool you need to put together your laptop. I'm not convinced this is all I'm gonna need, but we'll find out. So we have these ports here. These are expandable and interchangeable, so you can kind of put the ports you want in there, which is really cool. Check out the inside of this thing. Okay, that looks pretty cool. It's got a really, it actually has a nice premium feel to it. I always expect anything like this is gonna be kind of cheapo, especially something that's meant to be like a DIY system, but so far this feels really nice. And then we have all the stuff that goes inside of it. So we've got a two terabyte SSD, 64 gigs of memory, and these expansion cards right here, along with the Wi-Fi card. It looks like the motherboard's already installed, so let's get that bottom plate off and check it out. So some of the cool things about this framework company is that they're all about the right to repair. So not only, oh, these are captive screws, which is cool. So not only do you get a very high quality computer, you actually can go on and buy repair parts and accessories. So if there's any of these parts that go bad, you can go right to Framework's website and just order the part you need, which is amazing. I don't even remember the last time you could do that with any sort of electronics. You can do that with cars and stuff like that, but electronics makers don't have to abide by any right to repair laws. So that means that they're not going to. They want you to buy something new instead of just buying the parts that you need to repair the device you're working on. Wow, and here we go. This is just incredible. Not only do they have everything labeled, but any of these parts you have questions on, you can just scan this QR code and it will tell you everything you need to know about the part you're working on. It even says scan framework QR codes with your phone's camera to get help and repairs, order upgrade parts, and create marketplace listings. So not only can you get the help you need to fix it, you can order or upgrade your parts, you can even create a listing for that part on their marketplace. I've gotta say, so far, I love this company. This is amazing. This is what every company should be doing. Now, as far as a DIY computer build, I can't say that this is gonna be a huge project for someone with a lot of experience working on electronics, but I think it's something that the average person could do. And I think that's what they're going for with these DIY kits. So let's just go ahead and get this thing built and then we'll turn it on and see what it looks like. Ha, I was totally right. There was something that you need a different tool for. Good thing I kept my iFixit kit around. There we go. Now back to the framework tool. So I'm not 100% sure I have these wires routed correctly. So I'm gonna try what they say. I'm gonna try scanning the QR code for the Wi-Fi card and see what it does. Okay, and here we go. Wi-Fi replacement guide. Ah, this is very similar to iFixit's website. Okay, and then looking at it, that is actually exactly how I have it routed. So everything looks good there. The system they use for just scanning QR codes works really well, in my opinion. And these guides for the framework computers 
are really, really good. They just tell you step by step exactly what you need to do. Now looking at this guide, they have the black antenna on the number two slot and the white one on the number one slot. So I'm gonna switch mine. I'm not sure that it really matters, but I'm gonna switch mine because I have them the opposite way. And then I think I should be done with this build. So we've got the RAM in, we've got the storage in, we've got the Wi-Fi card in, and everything else was already in. I do have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with their DIY kit as I was hoping I would be able to put all of like the main board in and the battery and the speakers and route all the wires and all of that sort of thing. I do understand that their DIY kit is probably made for the average person, but for someone like me, it is a little bit disappointing when pretty much all the fun work has already been done. That being said, I am super impressed so far with this framework laptop, just with the ease of repair, the ease of finding help when you need it, the ease of getting parts, all of that stuff is super impressive and I wish every electronics manufacturer was held to this standard. Now I'm gonna get the keyboard ribbon cable put back on and then we'll put our expansion cards in. So these are the five expansion cards that I got that I'll use the most. Now there's obviously only four slots, so I'm gonna take out the HDMI because this laptop I'll probably use for work quite a bit, so I definitely need the micro SD. There's a lot of things that still use USB-A. I'm gonna use the USB-C. And then of course the one terabyte expansion card. Okay, and this is all there is to it. Just literally a little card you plug in. Okay, I don't know that that could be any easier. Or one terabyte. And then to remove them, we just press this and pull out. Now I already see something they've done that is brilliant that a lot of laptops don't do. Tell me if you can see it. It has to do with ventilation. So you can see this piece right here, this piece right here, and this piece right down here. That's all made so the laptop will sit up off of whatever surface you have it on so you can get good ventilation through these holes right here. Now that it's all together, it's time to start it up. So I've already installed Windows. I've already installed the framework drivers. Now let's turn it on so you can check it out. It does have a fingerprint reader in the power button, which is super cool. The keyboard feels nice, as does the touchpad. And there we have it. We got it all started up. One of the other cool features is right up here. On the Framework laptop, you can turn off the camera and turn off the microphone. I think this is something that's becoming a lot more common as more and more people are using laptops for work more often. And a lot of people just feel more comfortable when you can turn the microphone and camera totally off using hardware. So far, I have to say that I really like the Framework laptop, but what I love even more is what Framework the company stands for. Pretty much all other electronics manufacturers don't offer any support as far as getting parts. They often offer very little repair support. So seeing a laptop company such as Framework that is offering a laptop that is a quality computer where you can buy the parts you need, you can get all the repair help you need, is really amazing and I commend Framework for that. Thank you so much to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching it and I hope you have a good one.